What's up everybody, today I'm doing a tutorial on the Voxel Sniper plugin, which allows you to do stuff like this arch, which I'm going to show you how to do in this video, um, build, well, pillars like this, which is actually really easy to do, as well as um, cliffs like this, or mountains like that, or mountains like that, all with one method that I'm about to show you. So, let's get started, shall we? First things first, I recommend having the World Edit plugin, which is why I have this axe here, and it allows you to do a little something like this, let me demonstrate real quick. Let's just do slash um, a command slash slash diamond block, and there, there you go. Now we have a pillar of diamond blocks, and you can do stuff like that. And you can also get rid of stuff very simply just by doing that. So, as you can see, I am on my server PandaCraft right now, which is why you see all of the people saying hellos. So, this is how you do it. Um, first things first, you'll obviously need to have your name in the snipers.txt after you've installed it. And then you will need an arrow and gunpowder if you just have the voxel sniper plugin installed. Or if you have the world edit installed, um, I recommend also having a wooden axe. Just just in case you do something wrong, you can get rid of it. So, here we go. Um, first command you're going to need to do is slash B, right, space V. Right, not rocket science, there you go. And then it will give you a square of air. It's, you know, a square of air, bam. So next thing is you have to change your brush size to five, which is um, my recommended size because it's not like it's a ten by ten square, so it gets pretty big, and um, you don't want to mess really with anything else. The only reason I have this mountain here actually is because I accidentally did a thirty square, and I couldn't. You can't really get rid of it after you've done it, so I had to make kind of like a mountain, but it worked out fine. Um, and then you need to do slash v space stone to set your um, block to stone so you don't have an air block and now we're going to do an arch off of this build off of this little bit right here so um, if you just have your arrow out which is the tool that is used to um, add blocks and this is the tool used to remove blocks um, you'll just left click and there you go you have um, a stone block and we're just going to slowly go down in sort of an arch form until we reach our cliff over here which obviously won't take that long and you know it, it's not rocket science but the tutorials that are currently out there are mainly text tutorials so I thought I would do them so there you go obviously you can get more crazy with them as you can see over here at my spawn I have many things um, like this over my spawn and stuff like that and I have you know pillars like that which I'll show you how to do in a second alright so now we just have a bunch of stone blocks which doesn't look nice at all um, now by the way this is a server only mo um, plugin which means as of right now there's no client side um, single player plugin alright so uh, next command we're going to do is slash b space bb alright now that will give us our smooth tool and um, basically after that we need to do slash B and make our brush 15 which is my recommended um, size brush for this and you'll see it starts to when you hold right click um, just starts to morph everything into a shape now you don't want to do it too much or else things will start looking thin and nasty but if that happens simply go in right click with the um, with the uh, gunpowder and it will add blocks like I said this one's used to add blocks and this one's used to remove blocks um, so you can do that and uh, do stuff like that so after you found a proper shape that you enjoy and you think looks awesome next command you're gonna need to do is slash B over space D2 now basically this means slash B is you're selecting a brush over means you're gonna replace the blocks only over and not under and D2 is the depth of two now if we were to just do this on here that would become stone because we have a 15 brush and so on and so forth but we don't want that so we do slash v grass to change our block to grass and go over that again to get rid of it right and then we're gonna go over all of this and it's gonna add a two deep layer now of course you can change that two after the v to any depth you prefer but I'm just gonna do this for simplicity now if you go over if you have fly mod and you go over the um, uh, like the block limit, you'll get a invalid target error, 
Um, so that's why I recommend you don't build super high, even though you can uh, remedy this method. Like this is up to block um, height, but um, all you can do is just stay in here and right click, and it will do the job just fine. So there you go. That's a simple arch tutorial, and it's not super hard. And once you get the commands down, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff. So next thing, I'm just going to show you how I built this pillar and um, the pillars I have over here. Now this is even easier um, than my arch, my arches. So let's see. Um, let's just build one right here in between these. So you're going to want to change your block, um, your um, brush to five because you don't want them to be too big unless you do want them to be big. Um, and you're going to change your block to stone which is what I recommend um, so slash V stone and then you simply right click with the brush I mean not with the brush but the uh, yeah the sulfur brush or the gunpowder brush and bring it up to as high as you want it um, this is obviously stone right now so let's just bring it right there maybe add a little down here to add it some effect and you can always use the smooth um, command to get rid of the majority of this do 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 alright there we go and since this doesn't look too nice right now what we're gonna do is do slash b space bb and go over it yet again um, smoothing it out because when you use the gunpowder tool it doesn't look the nicest um, because it's very sketchy and the blocks are very more scrambled so I always recommend going over it with the um, arrow with the slash b space bb or the smooth tool to add effect and then obviously when you do slash b over d2 or whatever you want your depth to be two just seems to be proper and then do slash um, v space grass to select our grass block and then we'll change our brush to 15 by doing slash b space 5 I mean 15 of course and then we're gonna go over our tower and like I said, just simply go on top and do the same. And there you go. Now you have a little mountain peak that looks really nice. Now like I said, this is only a um, uh, server side mod. So if you really want to use this plugin, simply create a small bucket server that's not port forwarded. Um, install the plugin and use it. And then simply just put it in your uh, multiplayer, I mean your single player world if you really want it like that. So there you go guys, that's just a little tutorial on how to do some terraforming with the Voxel Sniper plugin. You can download the Voxel Sniper plugin in the description. Simply install it by put it, putting it in your um, plugins folder and then adding, run the server and adding your name to the snipers.txt. That's, uh, that's it guys, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you a lot, please drop a like because it helps me a lot and it helps me know you guys care. And uh, beware of using the add tool, this, when you're around buildings because I accidentally buried this guy's house, as you can see here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I was working on this, and we had some problems, and I'm sorry. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. If you would like to join my server, PandaCraft, click the watermark for more information. See you guys later. Peace.